In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful necklace, matching bracelet, and earring set, all made out of soda can tops. This project is very simple and easy to make, so I'm going to show you the techniques I use, and we're going to have to make sure you've washed them and cleaned them and dried them really good. And as you notice on the inside, is this little like little circular circular thing here what you want to do is you want to remove that for this project you're going to need jump rings you're going to need a fastener for the necklace you're going to need a fastener for the bracelet and you're going to need some earring hooks for the earrings. To do the necklace I'm going to need um, 26 of the tops for the necklace. You're going to need 10 tops for the bracelet, 4 tops for the earrings. Now that we've prepared and washed and cleaned all our tops, you're going to remove that little piece right there on the inside. So you're going to take your wire cutters and you're going to just cut that out. As you see, see that little piece that we removed? I don't know if you can see that that's the little piece you want to remove out so see when you removed it see how open the little circular is here so I prepared all the tops by removing the little circle little piece of um, tin out of the out of the um, aluminum out of the inside and what you're going to do is the opposite piece that we took we took the little um, insert out of the top of the circle here so the skinnier of the two pieces, the skinnier circle here, you're going to grab top by the top and you're going to slightly bend it. So you're going to take all of the tops and you're going to slightly bend them. As you see it gives it a nice little beveled edge. I beveled all my edges. As you see, they kind of sit up now. How, they, how raised they are compared to how they were flat before. When you start to line them up, they begin to take the shape of your necklace and that's pretty much how you get that that beveled look like the necklace is raised. Now we're ready to join the necklace parts together and the bracelet parts together. What you're going to do is you're going to take two of your tops and you're going to join them together at the top here with a jump ring. This is a jump ring ring opener and you kind of insert it on your finger just like that you're going to grab your jump ring and you notice each of the jump rings have a little slit where they open you're gonna it has a little screw on the top so you're going to insert the jump ring in a little screw and just turn and see when you do that it opens up the jump ring and you're gonna open it up and you're gonna insert one side of um, one of the tops and you're going to insert the other side of the top once you've got them inserted then you're going to close your jump ring. So you want to continue this all the way around. So now that you've got all of the necklace parts put together, um, I added um, an extra jump ring on the end of each um, of the last ones. We're going to connect the end pieces. So I have a jump ring on the very end. So I'm going to grab another jump ring, which I've opened already. And I'm going to grab one side of the closure you're going to insert the hole of the closure into the jump ring and you're going to connect this with the extra jump ring that you put on the necklace and you're going to simply take your um, jump ring and you're going to close it and as you can see it's you've got it connected we're going to do the same thing on the other side and now that's closed and the necklace is finished and you're going to repeat the same thing for the closures on the bracelet so now I've connected my closure to my bracelet as you can see there's the the eye portion and here's the hook portion and this just rides in the middle of that and that's how you close the bracelet now to make the earrings what we're going to do we bent these back there were two for each earrings 
So what you're gonna take, you're gonna re you're gonna reverse that because we want these to be straight. So you're just gonna bend these back. So now you're gonna use the larger jump ring, and you're going to need three jump rings for each earring. What you're going to do is you're going to take your jump ring and you're going to open the jump ring and you're going to insert the jump ring in the middle of one of the uh, tops. Then you're going to take the next top and you're going to insert the bottom of that top in that jump ring. First you're layering them on top of each other. So now I've closed the jump ring as you see you've got a loop overlapping the two so it's almost like the holes line up like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put another loop connecting the other two. You have a jump ring on the bottom connecting the bottom and the top together and then you got a jump ring right here at the top connecting these two together. So you're going to take another jump ring which I've already opened up. You're going to put the top of the top in the jump ring and you're simply going to take the whole of the fish hook and you're going to put it on as well. And once you've got them on you're going to simply close the jump ring. And when you close the jump ring, there you have the earring. So you're going to repeat that to get to finish both earrings. And there we finished our necklace, our bracelet, and our earring.